Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 worst Dancing with the Stars performances. And wait, Lolo! Okay, truthfully, that was more like an uh-oh. For this list, we'll be looking at the most embarrassing and low-scoring dances from the competition TV series. Which dance did you find the worst? Let us know in the comments. Number 20, Lamar Odom Salsa. <laughs> Professional athletes typically do very well on Dancing with the Stars. It makes sense considering their age, fitness level, and agility. But not two-time NBA champion Lamar Odom. Granted, he was almost 40 years old at the time, so that's something to consider. Lamar and Peter Murgatroyd danced a salsa to Daddy Yankee's Con Calma, and the results couldn't have been more awkward. <laughs> Not only was their huge size difference a problem, but Odom danced like someone entering middle age. He was stiff, unenthusiastic, and generally out of sync with Pita. The judges gave him unanimous fours for a total of 12, giving him by far the lowest score of the night. Boom boom Number 19, Lolo Jones's Cha Cha Cha. And here we have another athlete surprising everyone with their general lack of dancing talent. Lolo Jones is a hurdler who's a two-time world indoor champion. She was paired with Kyo Matsepe in season 19 and danced a cha-cha-cha to Rizzle Kick's Tell Her. The performance was, well, awful. She said it herself. I make no excuses, it was awful. I'm surprised I even was able to get back with it. It's not, that was literally, I've had practices, every practice was better than what just happened. I, I'm honestly you know just it's really mad. Not only were the moves stiff, but Jones was often out of time with both the music and her partner. It resulted in a few obvious blunders, and viewers could easily tell that Jones was panicked and unhappy throughout the dance. She just didn't look comfortable up there. Number 18, Kenny Mayne's Cha Cha Cha. Kenny Mayne isn't an athlete, but is related to the world of sport, having worked with ESPN on both Kenny Mayne's Wider World of Sports and Sunday NFL Countdown. He appeared on the second season of Dancing with the Stars alongside Andrea Hale. Unfortunately, he didn't last very long. Kenny and Andrea danced a cha-cha-cha to Donna Summer's Hot Stuff, and Kenny admittedly gave it his all. Viewers could tell that he was enthusiastic about the dance, but his moves just weren't there. He was generally quite rigid and failed at much of the footwork. At one point, he even slipped on the floor. And while he recovered well, the mistake was very obvious. He was scored with two fours and a five and was sent packing. Number 17, Tucker Carlson's Cha Cha Cha. Now the host of Fox News' Tucker Carlson Tonight, Carlson is an infamous political commentator who spouts controversial views and conspiracy theories. He's also not a very good dancer. While hosting MSNBC's Tucker, Carlson appeared on the dance competition's third season and danced a cha-cha-cha with partner Elena Grinyenko. They moved to Dancing in the Street, and Carlson did David Bowie and Mick Jagger a great disservice. Carlson was very game and proved a good sport, but no amount of enthusiasm could overcome his poor dancing. Bruno Tonioli was especially critical of the dance, calling it, quote, an awful mess, before giving it a three. Unsurprisingly, Carlson was shown the door and became the first person eliminated from the season. The <laughs> Number 16, Jerry Springer's Paso Doble. After this performance, no one was chanting, Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Appearing in the same season as Tucker Carlson, Springer was paired with Kim Johnson and actually made it quite far, finishing in fifth place. However, his run was marred by a very disappointing Paso Doble. 
Dancing to Charlotte Church, the dance began well enough with Springer smashing a guitar and dramatically unfurling his cape. But things got sloppy once the dance began. Most of it was just Springer messing around with his cape, and his footwork was horribly awkward. The whole thing was very goofy and not in a fun way. It was the lowest scoring dance of the week and would have spelled doom if it wasn't for the withdrawal of Sarah Evans. Number 15. Billy Ray Cyrus's Cha 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 This country legend went far in the show's fourth season, finishing in fifth alongside partner Karina Smirnoff. But things did not begin in a promising manner. Billy Ray attempted the cha-cha-cha in the very first week, dancing to his own song, I Want My Mullet Back. Considering the notorious difficulty of the cha-cha-cha, Cyrus performed quite well for a 45-year-old man. But it was still very obvious that this was a 45-year-old man doing the cha-cha-cha. His moves were very rigid and uncoordinated, resulting in a cumulative score of 13. It was the lowest score of the week, but it was also the lowest point of Cyrus's time on Dancing with the Stars. Number 14. Steve Wozniak Samba Steve Wozniak is arguably one of the biggest and richest names that Dancing with the Stars has ever gotten, being the co-founder of Apple. But he was not a good dancer, and in a fun twist, his samba was actually worse than his cha-cha-cha. Dancing to the classic Calypso tune Jump in the Line, the performance looked exactly like what it was, an almost 60-year-old man attempting the samba. Wozniak had no moves, no fluidity, and no rhythm, and the whole dance mostly consisted of him lightly stepping around the stage. Adorable and a lot of fun? Yes. A good dance? Absolutely not. He was scored with two threes and a four, making this the lowest rated dance of the season. Number 13. Sean Spicer's Salsa Spicer received a lot of heat in the late 2010s by serving as Donald Trump's press secretary. Riding this wave of infamy, Spicer appeared on the 28th season of Dancing with the Stars, and it saw him dancing a salsa to the Spice Girls' Spice Up Your Life. Aside from the fun lighting and neon green shirts, there was little to enjoy. Spicer looked much like an aging dad at a wedding, and he received unanimous fours in response. In typically controversial fashion, Spicer suggested on Twitter that his low scores were the result of bias and discrimination, writing, quote, Clearly the judges aren't going to be with me. Or maybe the dance just stunk? Ya, hold tight. Number 12. Geraldo Rivera's Salsa Dancing with the Stars is arguably the most embarrassing thing to happen to Geraldo Rivera since opening Al Capone's vault. Appearing on the show's 22nd season, Rivera danced both a cha-cha-cha and a salsa, and both were scored equally bad. His salsa was set to Tito Puente, and it was horrible. It began with a cringy Donald Trump impression before segueing into what could arguably be considered the worst salsa in the show's history. Rivera was certainly showing his age, as he barely moved throughout the whole thing. And when he did, it was with a very slow and deliberate pace. Rivera could only do so much, being in his early 70s. But this is a competition, and he deserved to go. Glad you're still there. Number 11, Misha Barton's Cha Cha Cha. Barton famous for playing Marissa Cooper on The O.C., appeared on the 22nd season of Dancing with the Stars alongside Artem Chigvintsev. She was less than good. Friday and Saturday night, it's pata pata time! In the second week, they danced a cha-cha-cha to Miriam Makiba's pata pata. Well, we don't know if danced is the right word. 
It was more like walking around the stage with facial expressions. It was only the second week, so we can forgive her stilted dance moves, but her forced smile seemed to suggest that she would rather not be there. A noble effort, we suppose, but maybe dancing just isn't Misha's top strength. Number 10. David Hasselhoff's Cha 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 Oh, David. And we were rooting for you, too. The Hoff appeared in the show's 11th season alongside Kim Johnson, but their very first dance unfortunately ensured his quick departure from the show. I'm gonna fire, shoot me right. I'm gonna like the way you fight. I love the way you they danced the cha-cha-cha to Tom Jones' sex bomb, and while David certainly looked the part, he betrayed his coolness by dancing on eggshells. He was just relatively stiff. Unfortunately, David earned the lowest score of opening week and was swiftly eliminated from the competition. I guess it doesn't matter how you look, it's the dancing that counts. Number 9. Bristol Palin's Rumba You had my heart, and we'll never be worlds apart Palin actually placed an impressive third in season 11, but you wouldn't know it based on this rumba. For the season's fourth week, Bristol and Mark Ballas danced to an acoustic version of Rihanna's Umbrella. Not only was the dance itself a little on the tacky side, but Bristol didn't quite exude the sex appeal the dance called for. She didn't really do all that much. The judges called her out with some sharp criticism and gave her a performance score of 14, the lowest of the week. Number 8. Wendy Williams Cha 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 What is it with the Cha Cha Chas? Wendy Williams may be able to coordinate a talk show, but she had some serious trouble coordinating this dance. Williams was partnered with Tony Dovolani, but unfortunately, the duo did not make a great first impression. Their very first dance was a cha-cha-cha to Chaka Khan's I'm Every Woman. And while Wendy certainly has the confidence and personality to pull the song off, her dancing didn't measure up. She simply looked ill-prepared for the competition. And while their score of 14 wasn't the lowest of the week, it was pretty darn close. Number 7. Kim Zolciak Bierman Salsa The Real Housewives of Atlanta star was partnered with Tony Dovolani, and their first dance was a salsa to David Guetta's Hey Mama. The song requires much more energy and pizzazz than Kim was willing to offer, as she simply looked bored. The production tried to mask her lack of inspiration as much as possible, but it just seemed that her heart wasn't in it. Kim admitted to being scared and reserved during the judging, but her confession didn't save her from a terrible score of 12, making this the lowest scored dance of season 21. Number 6. Winona Judd Samba Winona Judd appeared on the show's 16th season alongside Tony Dovolani, and at this point, we're just starting to feel bad for Tony. Hey! The man can't seem to get a suitable partner. While their first two dances weren't spectacular, they took a turn for the worse in the third week, when they danced a samba to Def Leppard, which admittedly sounds like quite the challenge. Oh, 
Winona barely moved throughout the dance, and when she did, her footwork and hip movement were a little wooden. She was given her lowest score of 15 and was eliminated from the competition. Number 5. Carol Baskin's Paso Doble Riding that Tiger King fame, animal rights activist Carol Baskin appeared on the show's 29th season alongside Pasha Pashkov. She began with a very bad Paso Doble, dancing to, what else, Survivor's Eye of the Tiger. Not only was the song choice far too lame and predictable, but also the dance itself could be considered substandard. There was no passion or emotion behind the performance, and it was all quite boring. Bruno was especially critical of the dance and scored it a 3, resulting in the lowest cumulative score of the week. It all just felt like Baskin capitalizing on her newfound fame, and none of it was any fun. Number 4. Michael Bolton's Jive Michael Bolton and Chelsea Hightower danced a jive to Elvis Presley's Hound Dog, but it wasn't a shining moment for them as a dance couple. Chelsea did truly try her hardest to bring this dance to life, though. Unfortunately, Michael emerged from a literal doghouse and moved into a figurative one. The dance was not well received by the judges, with Bruno rubbing his temples and calling it, quote, the worst jive in 11 seasons. That's tough to hear, even if you're not a Bolton fan. Michael, I am a dog lover, but you make it so hard for me. You should have kept that bone and gone back into the doghouse. Number 3. Kate Goslin's Paso Doble Here we go again with more difficulties for Tony, who later joked about this difficult dance experience in an interview with Anderson Cooper. The incompatibility between the couple just seems palpable throughout their Paso Doble to Lady Gaga, as Tony is actually dancing, whereas Kate is more strolling than shimmying. But I won't stop until this particular dance was even later parodied by Jimmy Fallon, among others. When it comes to the better known dances in Dancing with the Stars history for not quite measuring up, this Paso Doble is often mentioned. Number 2. Kim Kardashian's Rumba Look, we're not attacking Kim Kardashian just because it's Kim Kardashian. She was legitimately not at her best with this rumba. Now I've gotten in too deep. Kim was partnered with Mark Ballas, and the two danced to James Morrison's You Give Me Something. You give me something that makes me scared all right. However, she conveyed absolutely little genuine emotion, and there was little evidence of grace, fluidity, or chemistry with Mark. The two were given a score of 17, and while that wasn't the lowest of the week, it was enough to get them eliminated from the show. You could say that she couldn't keep up with the competition. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Master P's Paso Doble Baby, do you understand me now? Sometimes I feel a little mad. How could it not be Master P's Paso Doble? Master P is arguably the least prepared contestant in Dancing with the Stars history, 
as he and partner Ashley Del Grosso received low scores on all their dances. However, it was their fourth week Paso Doble that has since become a thing. Master P looked very ill at ease up there, barely moving, and when he did, it was with a minimum of nuance and style. The joy that's hard to find. He received a generous 4 from Carrie Ann, but 2s from Len and Bruno. And his cumulative score of 8 is still the worst score in Dancing with the Stars history. But props for putting himself out there and giving it a go. Oh Lord, please don't let me be Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.